and we're back once again and you're cooking with Chico and what we're cooking today is the Beyond Meat uh, we got the Beyond Meat beef crumbles beefy crumbles right there you see it's about Beyond Meat this is plant-based meat right here and uh, we're gonna cook this up real quick on the stove this is a quick um, lunch meal right here we got an avocado this is what's gonna go on fresh we got our greens I'm just gonna put this kale in there just to cook just because I like kale and a little bit of cilantro I'm gonna use some clarified butter got a nice carrot right here and a little piece of a of a bell pepper oh I just turned the right eye on boom all right as I move the camera real quick my bad we're gonna get it going right here Bob here we go just bear with me I'm gonna keep this thing going this is gonna be a uh, a, a no cut situation. I'm just going with it straight live. You feel me? So if you see something, then you see something. Forget it. <laughs> Alright, let's hope that it stays like that. I don't know if it will. Let's see if we get this camera situation right. Can you see the pot? Yeah, you can see the pot. Alright, here we go. Boom. Turn the thing on. Get this butter in there. See, this is clarified butter I got from a friend. And no, it doesn't have anything else in it. it just has the butter. Alright. Next, I'm going to take my kale and just make sure I wash them off. And just because I want to, I don't know if it really makes any sense. I'm just gonna break them off and toss them in like that. Take them off the stem. Just toss them in. Make sure you get that off of there. And yeah, some people, you know. Why are you doing this before you do the meat? Well, one thing is plant-based meat and it doesn't really need to cook very long like if it was red meat or something. It'll actually make it, you know, kind of hard. So, uh, you can actually use, or you can also use a lot of corn, uh, not corn, but, uh, <laughs> but onion in, in this too, if you like onion. I'm using just little pieces of bell pepper to go in there. For a little fresh feel but yeah you can't overcook it pretty fast which is what we're trying not to do you figure they'll be so we got the heat on about uh, midway between high and medium all right some people like fresh carrots. I'm just gonna cut mine a little bit just to make them a little bit softer. You know, you can peel your carrots. Right now I don't have my, my peeler, so we just going straight in. You know what I mean? Kiddo style. Whatever you wanna call it. Boom. Mm. Get the butter going just a little bit. I'm gonna take that heat down just a little bit to a little bit of that medium. Got going. Got a little bit of. And right now I'm in the process of moving, so I don't even have all of my good stuff. So we're just gonna go with black pepper and some classic seasoning. Right here with this one, Bob. All right. And you can do a little bit of oil if you want. I don't know. What do y'all think about them saying don't cook coconut oil? Are you not supposed to cook or heat up coconut oil? Let me know what you think. 
know what the dog is barking at. But let me know what you think. And it's a shame I don't have any onion right now to put in there. A couple other little herbs, leaves that I got out, out of uh, the garden from a friend. They've been in the fridge a little bit too long now, probably. Boom, here we go. So now, for the main event, what you guys have been waiting for, which is the Beyond Meat product. I could throw up in here now. All right, it comes frozen. It's called Crumbles, because it comes like this, frozen, crumbled up. You know what I mean? So we just put that directly in there. Camera good? Alright, y'all ready? Here we go. There are the crumbles. There you go. Beyond meat. I might do my little thumbnail. We're going beyond meat, kale, carrots. A little bit of bell pepper. A little bit of butter, a little bit of seasonings already. I'm gonna come right back with we'll hit it with a little bit more seasoning on that fizz name. You hear that thing talking to you? That's right. All right. Some people take their tortillas and put them what uh, in the oven, something like that. Yeah, you can do that. I like to do it like this. Now the ghetto technique for you. Boom, just lay them things over like that. <laughs> That's cold blood, right? just lay them over like that. Let them get a little bit soft. Boom. You can do it like that with the foil if you want to. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. If you want to, you know what I mean? Flip them things, flip them things if you want to. That's a little technique that I do, but I kind of do it at the end. Just showing you right there. All right. All right, from here I can take that heat. I can turn it back up a little bit. If your range goes from two to eight, then I'm putting it on a seven right now. All right, so it should be talking to you in a minute. Oh, we're kind of sticking to a little bit, Bob. My first time with the plant-based meat cooking it at the house. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I could have put some fresh garlic up in this thing, huh? Yes, sir. oil on there. I knew I was missing something besides the onion is the fresh garlic. You know? Nice big one, bust it open. I like to just chop my, you know, like that. And fresh garlic, chop. Right there in the hand. To stick into the pan, but I think it's a pan. So if you got a non-stick pan, you might want to use that. I'm gonna try to break my crumbles up just a little bit to you know break it down like taco size if I can. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put them in a the tortilla. So off the bat, it doesn't feel 
like any ground beef. It doesn't feel like turkey beef. It doesn't feel like anything like that. But it, they say it tastes good. We're gonna see. And it's not breaking down, you know, small like I would like. But, you know, we'll see. Let that thing simmer like that right there. there. Boy, let that thing simmer that boy. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 down, boy. Take them off, down, boy. They take them off, down, boy. <laughs> yeah, y'all probably looking like, man, that pan is garbage. Everything is sticking. It's all good. It's all good when you're from the hood. Get right. We will get right. So my first little taste is gonna be with the kale right here, and it has a little bit on there, I'm sure. A little bit of the flavor. I can get it. So that's what I'm gonna taste first. Mmm, dang it, I got a little bit of piece up in there. A little piece of meat. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Different taste. Well, no, I, 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 it's not a different taste. Damn, it tastes like meat. Dang. That's some, I don't know, man. What this taste? It tastes good. Whatever it is. If this is the alternative to eat better, you know, other than eating meat. You may have this in the stores where I'm at and the price is reasonable. Hell, ain't no need for me to buy meat anymore. You know, unless I just want to eat a dead animal. Other than that, I might as well eat this. You know? Oh, camera failed. <laughs> but I might as well eat this. And I'm gonna leave all this in there because this is a Hot sauce, thank you. It's hot sauce going on. Taco Bell hot sauce, kale, uh, cilantro, avocado, carrots, beyond meat. Wrap that thing up real quick. And this is what we're gonna do. About to go in. Mm. Mm. Now, if they served this somewhere, you wouldn't know that it's not meat. You wouldn't know. I know because I cooked it. But if you knew that it was healthier for you, would you eat it? I know damn well I would. As far as buying any more red meat, I'm out the door with it. Been a week, week and a half strong. I'm a boy Tracy D say. And I'm feeling strong. We'll pop this thing. Get some of this, let me go ahead and plug one more time. Beyond meat. I'm about to finish eating the rest of this. I'm gonna get up out this thing. Peace. Ha, 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 ha.